What I have here is a low voltage indicator light. The cutoff or uh, the low limit of the light you can set by changing the values of the resistors or the LED that you use. And I got the idea from uh, YouTuber Electronics and more, except uh, the Zener dials that he used is not uh, is not the one that I needed to set the voltage. So I experimented with some different ones, and I came up with 5.6 volt Zener dials. So I'm basically going to use this for my lap, uh, laptop lithium ion power pack. I have another white, another one like this without the voltmeter. So I'm thinking of installing this in there and I set it so that it would light when the pack reaches um, 9.6 volt. So that's about 3.2 volts per cell with lithium 18650s. They're not supposed to go below uh, 3 volts and the lowest uh, you should take them is uh, 2.5 volts. So I set the the low voltage light to 3.2 volts. So uh, I have a power supply here uh, currently at 12.6 volt. So it it won't do anything. It's not lit. So I'm gonna lower the voltage, and it it's gonna come on when the voltage reaches 9.7 volt uh, I just pass it 9.8 9.7 you can see that it's flickering and then 9.6 it came on so any voltage that is below 9.7 this would uh, come on and then if you raise the voltage after charging it the light would go out so it's uh, pretty straight forward it's nothing nothing complicated there's no transistor the whole thing consists of one red LED one 10k transistor one one K transistor and then two 5.6 volt Zener dial and the circuit information is here. I'll take a picture of this so that you can see what it's like uh, and maybe make one for yourself. Okay. You have the 1K here, plug into your positive rail, and then you have your red LED light, the positive plug to where the resistor is. And then you have the Zener dial. And then the other end, plugged into your negative rail. And then you have the black band facing that way. And then you have the 10K resistor. Okay. 10k resistor goes to your negative rail or rather the negative leg of the LED and then goes to ground and then the final component from your negative LED leads Again with the black band 
facing to where the negative, I mean the uh, positive rail is. Plug that in there and that's done. Okay, let's uh, adjust the voltage. Let's see if it works. Okay. Okay, so now I have the same setup here except the LED is different. This is a red LED, turn on about 1.8 volt. And this is a blue LED, turn on about 2.5 to 3.7 volt. So one would light at, uh, this one would light at about 9.7, 9.6 volt. This one would light, uh, won't light until 9.2 or 9 volts. So let's see the difference. I'm gonna turn the the part. This is 10 volt. Anything that is uh, above the voltage I just mentioned, the LED would be off. Okay, it's like 11, 12. So I'm going back down. Okay, you see here 9.6, 9.5. This is just turn on. And then the blue LED just came on about just about 9 volts it came on. So depending on your requirement, if you want the indicator to light at 9 volt, you can use this kind of LED or change the resistor values. Or if you want it to light up at about 9.6 volt, you can try the red LED. Okay, for this low light indicator, you need only five components. One 1K resistor, one 10K, and two 5.6 volt Zener dial, and one 1.8 volt LED, red LED. And the circuit is like this. You might have to change the values a little bit. I was playing around with a variable resistor. This is like a 5K, and after changing it, uh, the resistance I came up with a 1k and a 10k 